Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. Let's today look at some content controls. I see this group here in the developer tab called controls. To see the control group I need to make sure that I do have a developer tab here and the way that I put that onto my ribbon was to click on file options then in the customize ribbon category I made sure that there was a tick in the developer tab in the developer box there and when I clicked OK I saw the developer tab was available to me. Prior to that when I didn't have a tick in there I simply saw this. If I took the tick out which is what happens by default I might add click OK, the developer tab is no longer there. Therefore I can't see that control group. So let's put it back, File, Options, Customize the ribbon, put a tick in Developer and click OK. And there it is. Now what I'm going to show you is how to include in your document, in your Word document, it also works in Excel, but in Word that we're using today, I want to put a date picker here at the insertion point by clicking on the developer tab and then this button here if I hover it says date picker content control and when I click on it it puts that control in the document then it says click here to enter the date I click the drop arrow to be able to do that and choose a date I'll choose uh, a month uh, further up March we'll say March 31st and when I click away, there is the date inserted. Uh, please ensure you advise your attendance by, and we'll put another date picker in here, and we'll say that the date we want, click on the arrow, uh, to be advised by is the end of February, around about February the 27th. And when I click away, there are my two dates. Now the beauty about uh, inserting dates like this one, you have uh, lots of freedom as to which dates you need to uh, uh, enter into a document. But secondly, it makes the formatting very, very simple because all I need to do is to click in the middle of that date and let's say I wanted to highlight it in red, make it bold, maybe italicised, etc. So whenever I click in the, uh, in the control, it selects the information in the control to make formatting quite easy. I'll do the same down here. Simply click in the middle. I'll make it bold, italicised. Then we'll change the colour in this one to uh, perhaps a blue colour there. And when I click away, of course, uh, there are my formatted dates. Now, please indicate your drink preference. In this case, in this area on the document, I want to insert a list that people can choose from. So what I'm going to do is to use this button here which is a drop down list content control and when I do that it says choose an item. Well what I need to do now is to go to the properties and I'm going to simply add a display name we'll say that people can choose from coffee or add, they can choose tea if they wish or maybe they can choose water if they wish. So, when we click OK and OK again we see that the design mode up here is highlighted so to make this particular control available I need to unselect design mode now all I need to do is to click the drop arrow to choose an item and we'll say they choose coffee. If they don't want coffee, they can choose water or whatever. So there is a way to insert content controls into your document to enable the easy completion of the document, in this case in terms of uh, choosable items from a drop down menu or drop down list if you like and how to insert dates. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, 
and uh, love to have you as a subs subscriber of course leave any comments or likes if you wish and uh, see you next time